Hey guys, it's me, Linda. I wanted to make this video so it would be easy for you to watch all of the Jupiter content in one video. I hope you enjoy. Please leave a like and comment and make sure you're subscribed. I'm a, I'm a hybrid between vampire and werewolf. I'm a hybrid. My dad's a vampire. My blood dad's a vampire. My blood mom's a werewolf, meaning I wound up with both their powers. So when I first got on with you, my skin started to itch. That's the one thing about us magical creatures. When we actually interact with others of our kind, we get itchy. My shoulder was just getting itchy when I first met you. I was itching right here. Yeah. I usually get itchy around my neck. Tell me about your ideal date. If you had to take me on a date, what would you do to me? I mean, with me. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. Thanks. And cute. So... I'd probably take you somewhere nice. Probably take you up to Golden Corral from my place. And if you've noticed how when I'm literally turned on, you can tell just by my eyes because my eyes start glowing, a, start glowing a little. I like sucking on t***s mostly. So if a woman likes that sort of thing, then I'll do it. Yeah. My sister Cheyenne trained me in combat, though. I... You you said that you sucked on your sister's. No, that was a that I don't do that to my family. I'm not into that. I'm not that sweet home Alabama bull. You know, I'm not that kind of guy. Have you ever like used your powers on someone? I did take my true form in front of one of my ex girlfriends, causing oh, wow. her to freak out and hold up a cross. Like whenever I get in water, like my gentleman callers have always said that I have a wop. I'm basically what you call an anti-hero. I love that song. Someone asked for a fit check. They want to see what your outfit is. I'm wearing a tank top with some PJs, with some PJ bottoms. Oh, wow. All I good. know that thing is thinking. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're making me really juicy right now. <laughs> I know. I have that effect on women. I really do. <clears throat> a few weeks ago, I lived at a nursing home. I could tell. I'm not very big down there, but I can still provide some satisfactory. That's fine. This one chick who I dated back in high school. Know what she did after I f her? What? Pressed for charges on me. I can't live without my siblings, and I can't shoot them. Yeah, you just have an inspiring story. Yeah. I came from someone who was nothing and came into something else, you know? If you want, after, after this, we can talk on Facebook and I can take a shower for you. I sometimes let the women I'm close to watch me shower. I'll talk to you later, Jupiter. It was nice meeting you. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. <gasps> He's a vampire werewolf hybrid that likes to investigate the paranormal. And also he likes to take showers and film it for his girlfriend. I just need I just need to sleep now. Um it felt so nice finally being seen. <laughs> You know, I was a little bit in heat. I was a little bit in heat. And if you want to watch this back, I'll be posting the video to my YouTube channel. And you can watch it again. You can stream it. You can take it to therapy with you. I know I'll be taking it to therapy with me. I think I want to go to sleep. He had a brown stain in his bed. I'm from Idaho, though. That's that's the state I come from. Oh, I, I come a lot from Utah. <laughs> Are you single? Um, depends on how you view me. I I date multiple women, yes. But At the same time? Yeah. I'm single and I'm looking for someone special. Well, if you want, I can be that for you. I'm up for a good time. You're saying you want some of this Linda Bendussi. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, 
I've been told I'm ugly, but you know what? I just don't give a crap no matter what. Well, I um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And right now, I'm the beholder. Mm -hmm. I, um, I grew up here in Idaho, but I do prefer a woman with a nice pair of and a nice, a nice tight That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. This is actually where I live, and I'm sitting in my rocking chair while looking through my game pass really quick, just looking for something to download, something to fill in the app. The empty spaces. You can but, fill uh, my empty spaces. <laughs> I know. But out here in Idaho, things get really busy out here during the 4th. I used to run with a group of hackers. Oh, wow. It was fun while it lasted, too. I basically study things that are not known to humans, like the paranormal world around us. And uh, the multiverse, so to speak. Oh my gosh. This uh, one time, I was lying in bed, and like my legs started shaking like so much and um i think something was happening to my cooter um and so like basically i think a ghost like was a munch on me i mean there's that's a poltergeist you're thinking of <laughs> wait so what do you want me to do on facebook with you just chat and just hang out with me you know send me whatever you're comfortable sending me any photos or whatever uh, who have you bit? No one yet. If you were to come to Idaho, I would, I'd basically take you on a tour of what, of the town I live in. I'd take you on a tour. My aviators. Yeah. Someone asked, someone said you have a twin size bed. How are we going to fit on it? Oh, uh, this? Yeah. I don't know. I have my own bathroom. Oh, wow. I could tell you're wearing makeup because I could see little tear stains going down your cheeks. Yeah, you just have an inspiring story. Yeah. Sorry I missed your call. It's okay. People were telling me that you were in jail. I just had to check on you. No, I'm not. As you can see, I'm free. And whoever that guy is who's been threatening me online, whoever he is, Chris, if you're watching this, I want you to know that I'm sick of you. And I'm not going to let you push me around. <laughs> you can piss off and eat my ass. Oh my gosh, I would love to do, do that. Freak. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Or am I? That we may never know. <laughs> That's a knee slapper. Someone said that you were dating minors for show. Yeah, it was just for show. It was okay. just a show. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was doing it for show. People need to stop acting like I did something wrong. I was only doing it for show. What show was it for? I was doing it as a power move. I wasn't even serious with them. I just did it for show. Someone asked, are your parents first cousins or brother and sister? No, they're not. I promise. They've, they're from two different people. Great. There ain't no inbred shit in my family. Okay. How did you become a werewolf? I've always had the power. I just kept it hidden. I keep them hidden because I don't want to, I don't want to freak no one out. You know, I don't like freaking people out. 360 of the haircut. Oh, this? It's not a haircut. It's just my hairstyle. Oh, yes. I love a good back shot. Since you're a vampire, do you drink blood? <laughs> um, not human blood. No, I use it as a last ditch attempt. So what blood do you drink? Um, usually animal blood. I bring inanimate objects to life and use them as a blood source. They're known as homunculi. So like you would find like a rabbit on the side of the road and just drink its blood? Yeah, something like that. What was the last animal you ate? It was an inanimate object that I drank blood from and I'd rather not get her now because she doesn't like being on camera. She's shy, so I can't really. Well, can you bring another inanimate object on? They want to meet. They want to meet some of your friends. This was one of the inanimate objects I brought to life. Um, her name's Shira Tora, so she's one of the many homunculi I brought to life. How do you drink from her? Uh, normally I bite her. That sounds fun. I I sometimes like to bite Barry the bee. Yeah. Um. So like you've had children with her? 
yeah. Um, but I made her promise no more after like our last set of triplets. I told her no more. I was done. So like, how did she get pregnant? If I were to tell you the way, it would kind of disgust you in a way. Why don't you whisper it to me and I'll, I'll tell them in the most PG way I can. Um, what I do is I just inject some of my into her and then I use magic to grow the embryo over time and then the embryo takes on a new life and then they have to be transferred to a new body. If you get my meaning. They want to know what, what do the kids like look like? Sorry, they're kind of quiet. They're sleeping right now. There they are. Those are most of the kids we've had. Those are most of the kids we've had together. Okay. Is that what our kids are going to look like? Um, no. I mean, they'll be mostly human looking, so. Mostly? Yeah, they'll be human looking. Do you have any, any more kids with any other inanimate objects? No, she's the only one. I don't do multiple inanimate objects to bring to life because I know one of them eventually will turn on its master and it's happened more than once to me when I was young I used to be able to bring inanimate objects to life but once I did so it they turned on me once they found out that I that they weren't the only one they turned on me you're like their master right yep master and servant contract that's it so like if we were in like the bed canoodling I could call you like master yeah if you wanted to I mean that's up to you I'm thinking about one day getting a Colt 45 pistol, though. I've always wanted one. Don't know why, I just have. Oh, ask him to howl. Okay, but only this once. Okay, that was kind of slay. Like, you sounded like Mariah Carey right there. Yeah, exactly. Since I'm a, I'm a mermaid, I really thrive in bodies of water. So, like, sometimes I have to get a good bath to get all my scales wet. I'm trying so hard not to laugh out of, out of joy for this, but, uh, Linda? Yes? Will you become my queen? Will you become my mate for life? Oh, my gosh. I would, I would love to. I'm literally on all fours right now. <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to get married? That's what I want to know. Oh, I don't know. Anywhere we can do it under a bridge. People say that vampires and werewolves can't go out during the day. Yeah, we can. We can. We can go out in the light. I'm a special breed, meaning I'm a day walker, meaning I'm able to walk in the sunlight. I really like big, burly men with lots of hair. Um, mm -hmm. And I know that you're one of those. So I'm a mermaid. I love getting in bed and, you know, making it walk. Yeah, I know. I can understand that. I can get behind that. Yeah, you can get yeah. you can get behind this coochie too. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey, hey, Linda. This is my man. That's your man. What's up? Oh, what's, what's up? up, bro? Yeah, I'm her man. So don't even get don't get any ideas. Of oh, course. I won't, bro. I won't. Where? Trust me, you, I won't. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> you, you, too, 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 you, too, 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 too. I'm scared. Okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah, don't flirt with my girl, or I swear to God, you'll be in pieces in the ground. I love that song. Please don't say anything bad about the Mormon Church because my dad is one. That's well, I'm not saying it like the, about the whole Mormon Church. I'm saying about the ones that held me captive in their basement. Yeah, I know. Your uncle was an idiot. I'm just being honest. That's my honest opinion. You can hate me if you want, but your uncle was a total moron. Plus, if he was still alive, I would have killed him myself. And if he were still alive, I'd be the one to put the knife in his chest. Well, my iPad's gonna die. It's only on 1%. Okay, bye. Later. What the fuck? Um, this is not an act, this is real life. All hail Queen Linda. I guess I am a queen now. He made me a queen. Well, we're not a uh, queen to be. We're going to get married. So again, you better fork and follow. Have a nice night. They want to know why your bed is brown. Oh, that is just from my sweat and everything that all the dirt that comes off my body. It's just sweat and dirt molecules. I and mean, sometimes my sweat will coat the bed and make it all brown from the dirt all over my body. So... Yeah. I have that problem too, honestly. Sometimes I like to sleep with my, my shirt off. You know, you can probably imagine it. 
Yeah, I know you're a nude sleeper. You said that over camera once. Someone said to ask you where the body is. What body? Oh, they mean when I transferred my soul into my ring? Sure. Something took over my body. Uh, an entity, of course, took over my body while it was in my ring, while my soul was there. I was trying to rescue someone from an evil creature, you know? Someone asked, have you ever ate anybody? I mean, I've never eaten a human, but there have been some times where I came damn close, damn near close to doing it. I went full form and nearly wound up eating him. I'm trying so hard not to laugh out of, out of joy for this, but uh, Linda? Yes? Will you become my queen? Will you become my mate for life? Oh my gosh, I would, I would love to. I'm literally on all fours right now. <laughs> yeah, where do you want to get married? That's what I want to know. Oh, I don't know. Anywhere we can do it under a bridge. People say that vampires and werewolves can't go out during the day. Yeah, we can. We can. We can go out in the light. I'm a special breed, meaning I'm a day walker, meaning I'm able to walk in the sunlight. I really like big, burly men with lots of hair. Um, mm -hmm. And I know that you're one of those. So I'm a mermaid. I love getting in bed and, you know, making it walk. Yeah, I know. I can understand that. I can get behind that. Yeah, you can get, yeah. you can get behind this coochie, too. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey, hey Linda. This is my man. That's your man? What's up? Oh, what's, what's up? up, bro? Yeah, I'm her man. So don't even get, don't get any ideas. Of oh, course. I won't, bro. I won't. Where? Trust me, you, I you, won't. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> you, you, too, 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 too. You, too, 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 too. I'm scared. Okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah, don't flirt with my girl or I swear to God you'll be in pieces in the ground. I love that song. Please, don't say anything bad about the Mormon church because my dad is one. That's well, I'm not saying it like the, about the whole Mormon church. I'm saying about the ones that held me captive in their basement. Yeah, I know. Your uncle was an idiot. I'm just being honest. That's my honest opinion. You can hate me if you want, but your uncle was a total moron. Plus, if he was still alive, I would have killed him myself. If he were still alive, I'd be the one to put the knife in his chest. Well, my iPad's gonna die. It's only on 1%. Okay, bye. Later. Does it lean to the left or right? Um, I need context with that one, people. I need context. Oh, they, they put the eggplant emoji. I'm gonna be honest. That means my uh, <clears throat> downstairs area. It doesn't lean at all. It just, I don't know. It just stays there. Know. How realistic is Twilight? I mean, Shiratora? She's realistic, all right. It's just, she doesn't like being on camera for long. It makes her nervous. No, not Shiratora, the movie Twilight. Oh, the movie. Oh, oh, right, right. Um, The movie, I mean, I don't really pay attention to the movies because those movies aren't really factual. They're more based off of stereotypical shit. Let's see. What mythical creatures are your worst enemy? Unicorns, they're not very friendly. They're basically my worst enemy because they don't like me much. What about chickens? Does he have a tail or does he grow in when he shapeshifts into a werewolf? My tail is always hidden from view. I do have a tail, but it's mostly visible to those who have the powers to see them, like werewolves, vampires, that sort of thing. The is, it a, is it a long tail? Yes, it's... It's like a golden retriever's tail. When I'm happy, it wags. When I'm feeling annoyed, it twitches a bit. And when I'm feeling angry, my tail will go rigid and stiff. You know, I love a good stiff tail. <laughs> I know, right? Wait, you do too? I was kidding. I was oh. making a joke. It was a pun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ask him what color does his eyes change based on his mood. When my eyes glow a, a subtle blue, that's usually when my eyes are kind of, that's when I'm feeling kind of out of it and down. My eyes will glow a whitish red color if I'm pissed off. And when I'm just feeling happy, my eyes stay the color they are when I'm feeling happy. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Someone said that you are already engaged to someone named Abby. 
Oh, right. Um, I forgot to mention her. Are you engaged to me or to her? I don't know, okay? My brain is going one way while my heart's going the other, okay? I'm making it a competition to see who can make it to my place faster. I'm gonna like, you know, with all your other girlfriends, I'm gonna pull a Tanya Harding and I'll be the one to walk over to you. I know, right? So should I go around America and breaking people's kneecaps so they can't get to you before I can? <laughs> Maybe, who knows? That's up to you though. <laughs> Do you honestly think that this is hotter than me? Oh, hell no. Maybe. I, uh, I don't know. I don't like competition. You know that. I know. I kind of guessed that. And if you want to make it here to Idaho to come see me first, you better start making plans to actually pack a bag and whatnot. Even though it's summertime, Idaho can get pretty heated. Someone said draws reveal. Excuse me? I don't know. I just, I just read the comment, draws reveal. You might want to ask them for context on that one. Okay, I will. What's your deepest, darkest fantasy? My darkest fantasy is to watch all those who wronged me die by my hand. That's my darkest one. It makes me want, it just, it's just one of my darkest fantasies of doing. I want to kill everybody who's wronged me. Oh. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm going to say. I want to kill those who have wronged me as a person. I can make those people disappear. There's places out here in Idaho where I can bury bodies and no one would think to look. Have you done it before? Mm, not really done it, but actually thought of it. There are some people I want to bury out somewhere in Melba where no one will ever think to look. There's places okay. here in Idaho no one would ever think to look for a body. Okay. They want us to address the, the board again. I was set up. I was really set up. I was set up. I was tired. I was high on nicotine and I wasn't thinking straight. Have you stopped talking to, pe to minors on TikTok? Yes, I have. I stopped. I quit doing that. There were some who contacted me on, uh, on Discord, but I, but I kind of blocked them and left their chats because I didn't want to be kept being set up. So I said it would be better if we all stayed friends until they're older, but until then, we're just going to remain friends, you know? Yeah, that's what I was going to, that's what I should have said the first time, but instead I was high and exhausted at the time, so I wasn't thinking clearly. So my brain was. Yeah, so let's, let's keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. I don't want, I don't want to see you in jail. Me, me neither. I don't want to have to do a conjugal visit. visit. I know. Or do um, I? <laughs> your brother and your ex roommate have charges for being pals. it's not my roommate it's only my brother and they should all let go of that what happened happened let it go next uh, question please what does the room that you're currently in smell like if you had to place a finger on it where would that finger land it might the smell of sweat and whatnot because at because some nights it gets really hot in the house and we can barely, you know, feel the air and I'll, and I'll be sweating like a dog. Oh Literally. yeah. We talked about that before, how the bed was a little brown. You know, you, you know, I love when the rooms get heated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all know. <laughs> what kind of girls do you usually go for? Big Nice eyes, you know, the usual. You know, I, I feel like I check all those boxes. What outfit would you love to see Linda in? I'm going to say this as politely as I can. I would love to see you naked and or in a bikini. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> okay, that makes a lot of sense. If you lift up a flab, do you have your own cheese underneath, like blue cheese or cottage oh, cheese? Shit. Why do people always ask that question? It's not flab, it's mostly just dead muscle tissue. So there's no. no cheese? Nope. I'm not that kind of slob, are you kidding me? It's have some class. Even if you did have some cheese under there, I would still like it. It'd be like my own little charcuterie board. <laughs> what is your dream fantasy with Linda? If you had to write your own Jupiter and Linda fan fiction, what would it include? Hmm, sex, plenty of violence, and- Wait, at the same time? 
Yeah. Linda, Linda Later. slips one sleeve of her robe off her shoulder. What's the average lifespan of a wear pyre? Usually it's a couple thousand years, give or take. You think you're going to live that long? Some live up to almost a billion years. Some live up to a thousand. Some live well into their hundreds. Others die around their 90s. Depends okay. on the breed and their and their basic body count. What's your body count? I don't really have one. I mean, I did put a kid in the hospital. That counts as a bottle body count. My body count is only one when it comes down. Someone to asked it. if you eat your own juices. Ew, what? No, that's disgusting. I do it sometimes. Yeah, but that's disgusting. There's a reason why I shower. If you had to say how many showers you take per week. I take one during the morning sometimes and mostly at night. Mostly when I go, before I go to bed, I usually take a shower to help me, you know, calm down for the night, you know. Okay. Um, they want to know if you clean between your cheeks. Guys, really? I know what they mean by that. And I'm not going to answer that question. That's a personal well, question. Well, I'd hope the answer is yes. Yes. This is me cleaning my cheeks. Yeah, I know. If I joined you like in the shower, what, what would I have to clean you with? Like a sponge, a, a power wow. washer? I just, or a... I just use my hands. That's it. I don't use sponges or nothing. So no power Pretty washers? Much. Nope. Do you bite your toenails? I do it to clip them. When we don't have any nail clippers, I have to use my teeth to clip my nails. Do you think that you can beat the famous tribrid Klaus Michelson? <laughs> Maybe one day. Actually, my neck's getting a little edgy right now talking to you. <laughs> yeah. Do you vote? No, I try to stay off the grid. If you had to choose one, who would you choose, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? I don't want any in the White House. That's all I'm going to say. Which one's the pedophile? Really? Joe Biden? We all know it. I'm probably going to go now, too. I have to um, I have to go get something, find something to eat. Why don't, why don't you take this with you? I mean, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing the rest of your house. I can't. My, my iPad's plugged in. I mean... I can wait on camera if you'd like. I can wait. I can wait. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you later, okay? I won't. I'll, I'll call you back, okay? All right. Okay. Bye. Later. Do you like Barry? I know I've introduced him before to you. Yeah, I, I know. I can I can teach you how to bring him to life using a blood ritual, but that will inquire you being in physical proximity. Draw a circle, like a magic spell circle, and then... Put him in the middle of that circle and then use whatever incantation you'd like to bring him to life and then boom. Okay, I did it. All right, now put your B in the middle. Okay. And then use whatever incantation you'd like. Berry the berry. I need you to come to life. I need you to come into this coochie and bring me less strife. And I'm going to get married. Jupiter's going to make me his wife. So come on, Barry. Let's get to it. Strike a pose. There's nothing to it. <laughs> um, nice. Yeah. You should see a bit of movement within, the, within Barry by the next, by the time the moon comes up. Oh my gosh, he's twitching. Yeah. That's a spell circle. That's so yeah, cool. It's, it's like he's twerking. Barry wants to talk to you for a second. I'm communicating with him telepathically. He actually refers to you as his mama because you're basically his mom. Oh. He's, you're his mommy. You're his mom. I can't stuff him in my holes any longer. I mean, you can if you'd like, but I would not recommend it. Yeah, I have a, I use blood when my incantation. Can I use like my period blood? I mean, you can if you like. I met your fork and mother, Birch. I just, I just, I thought we were, I thought we were closer than that. What's he saying? He sees you as his mother and or sister. Sister? Perspective. I'm not. Like in stepsister, like the hot stepsister. Yeah. He calls you his hot stepsis. He's like, I don't really see her as my mom, more like a hot stepsis. Okay, so I should go like get stuck in the dryer right now? Yeah, something like that. 
So how, how would I tell Barry? Um, should I, sh should I get in the, in the dryer? Uh, if you do get stuck, it usually depends on how big your dryer hole is and whatnot. Cause some people have gotten stuck in them. One time, one of my actual sisters got stuck in the dryer and I couldn't help but laugh. I was legit dying. I could not. I was dying. I was done. I was like, nope. And what'd you do? Did you help her out? Know. Yeah, I pulled her out and she's like, thanks for not f***ing me. And I turn and I look at her and I go, you're my sister. I wouldn't dare do that to my own sibling. You... Well, your sister apparently wanted it, so. And the pack name is the Blue Destiny Pack, so. Do you name it after Jess Destiny's child? So like, are you like the Beyonce or the Kelly or the? Other? I prefer not to have my face shown on camera because of all the rumors about me and whatnot. It's for my own safety, you know? I get it. Um, do you do you eat raw meat since you're a werewolf? Fuck that shit. So you draw the line at raw meat, but you 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 never mind, let's not go there. I don't eat raw meat. I prefer to cook the meat and then eat it. God, how stupid are you people? Someone said draws the line with raw meat, but has kids with a stuffed animal. Will Golden Corral be catering our wedding? Maybe. That's up to you. That's up to you who you want to cater. You never heard of the doctor? Doctor who? No, I don't go to the pork and doctor. You know what I mean by pizza. Oh, the mermussy. That's what I was referring to. Yeah. You didn't get it until after I face palmed. Yeah. Exactly. <gasps> Someone said Abby's eating you out. Nope. Just a straight up. That's a no. Wait, what if Barry gets me pregnant? He probably won't be able to. Why? Because... Let me explain. Okay. Please. Just be quiet for a minute. Oh. He probably won't attempt it because he doesn't want to pay child support ever. No guy ever wants that. Yeah, I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say that out loud. That's even too far for Linda. Exactly. Jupiter, I think you telepathically got me pregnant just now. It's known as a telepathic poem. It feeds all my information that I know of magic to you. I'm using mana to basically, if you're feeling that weird, like, up in your system and your blood and everything, that's me channeling mana to you. You can actually charter a greyhound up to Idaho. Someone said he's I trying to get that you. Linda Bendussi. Well, maybe I am. So what? It's none of your guys' damn business. Should we live stream it for them? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you should you should totally come to Idaho. Just saying. And uh, guys, maybe I am trying to get a, get her pussy. <gasps> maybe I am. Maybe I am trying to get that pussy. So what? That's none of your damn business. <laughs> I just fell out of my chair. Like the look on your face as soon as you turned and looked at the camera, you're like, did you just say that? I know. That was the funniest look I have ever seen anyone give me. Yeah. I Wait, can you twerk? I can twerk. Can you? I can't. I don't dare do it. You don't shake your arse? Nope. What no, if I, I did it? I mean, I've seen you do it plenty of times on camera, so. And did you like it? Maybe. <laughs> My ex-roommate Billy once asked me that question. Was Billy trying to hit it? One time he actually did. He was dropping hints. And I just said, nope, I'm not in. I don't swing that way, bro. Sorry, but I don't swing that way. Don't Have you ever slept up. together in the same bed with him? Oh, hell no. Uh, oh, they're hell asking me. No. They're asking me. Sometimes I feel like a little lesbian, but um, when I'm talking to you, yeah. like if that all fades away. Someone said that they like when you degrade them. Sometimes when I'm in a foul mood, Shirtar will literally come over onto the bed and literally cuddle me as I sleep, trying to calm my heart down. Does she try to hump you too? She does hug me from time to time, yes. Me and my uncle, you know my uncle, right? Um, we, we yeah. put our, we put ourselves in potato sacks and we would hop throughout the backyard and, um, I would always beat him because he had his leg amputated. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a 
Discord. I have a cameo. You can request cameos. Sophia, I know that you're crushing on me. I know that deep down. I need to know if you'd be willing to spend your days with my human half. And I want you to know that I love you. <laughs> Jupiter, how could you do this to me? We were supposed to be together forever. And now you're cheating on me with someone named Sophia. What the heck? I thought we were going to be together till the day we died. I thought we were going to have mermaid hybrid, werewolf vampire babies. <laughs> but you decided to go with a human. Jupiter, I'm so angry. Hey guys, it's me, Linda. It has been brought to my attention that a very special person to me has been cheating on me. You know, s sliding into the Snapchat DMs of other women that are probably less hot than I am. I just want to say, ladies, you have to know your worth. You can't let some man string you along with 10,000 other women. Like, this is not a Taylor Swift concert. Jupiter, if you're watching this, Please stop, like, like flirting with other women. You told me it was a competition. I thought I was going to have to pull a Tanya Harding on six other people. Six. But now you have like 10,000 people that I need to break kneecaps for. Anyways, um, please post an apology video with a ukulele. I will be waiting for your response. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's me, Linda. I wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick update about Jupiter. Well, he is currently off the grid. And that is because, to put it lightly, he's a child predator. Along with being a cheater, a liar, a groomer, a narcissistic psychopath, and just an overall disgusting human being. I wanted to make this video to let you all know how I feel about Jupiter now and to inform you all that I'll be making a documentary providing evidence for all of the ridiculous, illegal things he has said and done to minors in various Discord groups. And right now I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of what to expect for the documentary. Be prepared. Jupiter, can I still send you pictures of myself even if I'm underage? Because I'm only 13. It's up to you, sweetie, if you want to. Because I don't mind. If you do, I don't mind. Do you plan on turning me in if I say yes? No, I would never. I'd lower the age consent all the way to 16 if you guys wanted me to. Or I'd even change it to 15 if you guys wanted me to. And by the forking way, keep in mind that this man is literally 25 years old. And if you thought that was bad, just wait until I show you everything that he has said and done behind the scenes. And Jupiter, I'm calling off the engagement. I'm not going to get married to someone that thinks that sending bad images to children is okay. In the meantime, to all my fans, thank you so much for all the follows, all the love and support you guys have shown me. I really do appreciate it. And stay tuned because, like, I have to find more sugar daddies out there, so. I love you guys. Bye. All aboard Jupiter's prison bus Chugging down the tracks of pedophilia Jupiter's prison bus You got a one-way ticket to the cell block cafeteria Jupiter's prison bus They're gonna cuff you to the racks and question about your past And the minors that you groomed you, you, you ain't got no broom to sweep under the rug But hey, at least you're having fun And don't uh, erase anybody's stats about me being a pedophile I'm not doing anything to hurt anyone Those are all just rumors floating around about me You all need to let it go, you all need to get over it It happened, whatever happened, happened, drop it
Many of you have asked for a recap of what happened with me and Jupiter. And I'm gonna try to break it down in the most simple way I can. So one random night I was live and I got a request to go live with this random person. And it turned out to be this guy named Jupiter who was convinced that he was a vampire werewolf hybrid. You know, there was a lot of mutual flirtation and a lot of mental heavy petting going on when we were live together. And I just decided to post a recording of what happened on that live stream to my TikTok page. And it went viral with like 9 million views. Blah, 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 weeks go by, I make more videos with Jupiter, and then he proposes to me and asks me to be his queen. And I obviously accept because I'm not one to turn down an engagement, especially if it comes with a ring, even if said ring might even be a ring pop. However, things took a serious turn when I found out he was already engaged to another werewolf vampire hybrid named Abby. And then I confronted him about it and I tried to be as nice and respectful as I could like my therapist Forkin told me to. But later I found out that some nefarious things were happening behind the scenes. On apps like Discord and Snapchat, some concerning things were taking place involving people treating him like their own personal circus monkey. One example is when um, the members of his Discord server convinced him to walk to his local Golden Corral um, with a BB gun and um, try to start a fight with one of the employees there whilst being cheered on by the members of his Discord. These types of situations that were happening really worried me. I didn't want Jupiter to get hurt and I didn't want others around him to get hurt. Now knowing that people can convince him to do anything and people on TikTok loved him, people would become adamant on having their own little viral Jupiter moment on TikTok. I realized the gravity of the situation when I found out that Jupiter was engaging in conversations with people who he believed were minors. And these weren't like your normal conversations on like how to turn a stuffed animal into real life. These were like really inappropriate conversations with videos and images. Without hesitation, I immediately wrote an email to the Nampa Police Department and to this day have not received a reply. After waiting a while for a response, thinking that I would be like helpful to the investigation if there was any, I ultimately decided that I was responsible for plastering this man all over everyone's For You page on TikTok. And then I realized that I was the only person that could take him out if the police weren't going to do it. And then I just made a video exposing some of the things that Jupiter has been doing behind the scenes. Okay, that was a very fast summary of just a little bit of what's happened. In the next video, I'll let you all know what's happening now. Here's an update about the whole Jupiter situation. And no, I'm so sorry, this is not about astrology. Earlier this month, on July 7th, Nampa Police Department conducted a search warrant at Jupiter's residency under the suspicion of internet crimes against children. Jupiter's communication devices were seized and searched as well as his social media accounts. He was then evicted from his residence by the landlords and forced to live with his father. Knowing that his family has a history of pedophilia and a known don't ask, don't tell rule, I don't know if he's in good hands. I sincerely hope that his local police department is taking this as seriously as they can and not sweeping this under the rug. Jupiter knows what he did was wrong and frankly will probably admit to it. He needs all the help that he can get and I will not rest until I know for certain that he gets what's coming for him. In the meantime, I'm still working on a documentary about this whole situation with Jupiter from the beginning all the way to the end. There's so much I want to share with you guys, so much that I haven't even shared privately. You know, there's just so much. The documentary will probably be just a one woman show. I'm literally editing it, directing it, writing it, producing it, and planning every single thing that's going into it. But if any of you guys know any like producers for like streaming services that can help me really get this professionally done and put on an accessible streaming service, just let me know. I'm open to a lot of things. My DMs are always open. And if any of you have any comments or questions, just put them in the comment section and I'll try to respond to them. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's me, Linda again. I wanted to make another video because apparently Jupiter is still not in the custody of the police, not getting the help he needs. And I think until that happens, I'm going to continue to supply evidence of Jupiter preying on people that he knew were below the age of consent. So here is one of the first videos that I'm gonna show you guys. Have you ever thought about maybe becoming a 
star? Have you ever thought about that? I mean, what if what if you and I decided to make if ever you and I got married and we decided to make our own videos, would you? And we added them to different sites and they paid us a butt ton of money. Would you consider doing it with me every time? For context, this is someone that Jupiter thought was from the ages of 14 to 15 years old. He knew what he was doing was wrong. Um, he even said it to me multiple times. Like, the police can't do anything about it because they won't imprison someone that has mental issues. So he knew what he was doing was wrong. And I believe that if someone it does something that they know is wrong, they should be held accountable for their actions. And again, Jupiter is 25. So yeah. It is with a humble heart that I, Jupiter, was a pedophile. The video I'm about to show you was posted on July 4th and it was Jupiter's apology for being a pedophile. It is with a humble heart that I, Jupiter, aka Corbin Pinnell, was a pedophile. I'm hated for those crimes. I ask the world's forgiveness as well as those who I've wronged, Bree and all those other named souls that I have wronged. Pedophilia was never really what was supposed to be. And I apologize for those actions that I have taken. I am Corbin and Jupiter. And I give you my solemn word that it will never happen again. I beg your forgiveness for the pedophilia I have done. And to the rest of the world, I was a pedophile. But I have seen the error of my ways and wish to be forgiven of my pedophilia crimes. And to all those others that I have hurt and wronged, I ask you to forgive me. I was never meant to hurt anyone. I bow my head in shame and I am ashamed to call myself a Jupiter. I am ashamed of my actions and I wish to be forgiven of the pedophilia crimes I have been accused of. And I promise you that it will never, ever happen again. I swear on the name of Jupiter and Corbin Pinnell. I swear upon that name that I will make this right. I am unworthy of calling myself Jupiter. This video is my apology to the world for my crimes. And I ask again to be forgiven of those said crimes. Of pedophilia, of being a horrible person and a monster. Forgive me, everyone on TikTok. Forgive me and know that my crimes are heard and know that I wish to be repenting of those crimes. Forgive me. You know, I have to really say that that was great acting. He gets an A plus for acting. I could totally see that being a monologue at a middle school theater performance. If Jupiter really thought that his apology was sincere, then he wouldn't have sent this message the next day to the same group of minors that he was communicating with weeks prior. Hey everybody, this is Linda with part three of showing you guys evidence of things Jupiter has said and done to minors. And if you didn't watch part two, make sure you go back to my last video because that is the video where Jupiter apologized on July 4th. However, not even 24 hours later, in his Discord, he sent this. If you feel like you are mature enough to make babies, then you are old enough to do so. To which someone replied, so you would breed me even if I'm 15. And his simple response was, yes. Now, if that didn't show you that he didn't mean anything he said in his apology, then hopefully this will. I'm just letting you know, I don't care what they think of me because I am who I am. They can't change that. My hope is the more I post about Jupiter and the things that he has done, the more it'll get out there and the more likely it'll get into the hands of the FBI, the police, anybody that can help get Jupiter where he needs to be. Hey guys, it's me, Linda Binda. You've probably been wondering where I've been. For starters, I have been legally and physically threatened to stop talking about Jupiter. Also, I've had to move out of fear for my own safety. It's been about three weeks since my last post here on TikTok, and part of that was from the threats, and part of that was because I wanted to give the Nimba police a little bit more time to gather evidence and make an arrest. 
You might be wondering, Linda, have I done that? The answer to that is no. I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you about this if they had. They've had about two months to take substantial action against Jupiter, and they have not. So I've decided to lay everything out on the table. You haven't even seen half of what Jupiter has done. If you think what I've posted on TikTok has been appalling, just you wait. So in the coming weeks, the first part of my Jupiter tell all will be published on my YouTube channel and I won't be holding anything back. It's gonna get messy, it's gonna get gross, it's probably gonna get me sued, but I will do anything to get the truth out and get justice for his victims. Thank you guys for all your support. I'll talk to you guys soon. I am 200% I am 100% Hey there, it's me, Linda. You know, I'm just like combing through 10 gigabytes of Jupiter content, you know, <laughs> the usual stuff. Um, what you just saw was probably traumatizing. Um, it was just Jupiter trying to be cool and make his own little song, which every word was highly offensive. I've seen a lot of comments that are like, Linda, is the documentary almost ready? So, as I'm editing that, I'm just gonna give you little snippets of videos I have stored of Jupiter. I'm just letting you know, I don't care what they think of me because I am who I am. They can't change that. Hey guys, it's me, Linda. I have some very important news for you all. Last night, I had a long phone call with Jupiter's sister. I know you all are probably like, oh my gosh, Jupiter has a sister. And the honest answer I have for you is, yeah, he has quite a few. I was told some very disturbing information that I could have never predicted. You know, I kind of always thought that Jupiter should be, you know, locked up in a mental hospital instead of somewhere like rough and tough like jail. However, after learning a lot from his sister, I think that he should go to prison you know most of the information i had about jupiter was from him that was until i got in contact with his sister and i found out so much more one of the things i found out was that she has a restraining order against him and has had one for a few years now if you guys have any questions for jupiter's sister she said that she would be open to answering some of your questions so put them in the comments below. I hope you all are having a great day, great night, wherever you are. Unless you're Jupiter, then you should be having a very, very bad day. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, sorry it's been a minute. I've been working so hard on the Jupiter Tell All. It's gonna end up being like 80,000 hours long. But I wanted to give you guys an update, not necessarily about Jupiter, but I wanted to tell you guys that Jupiter is not the only member of his family that is interested in little kids. This is Jupiter's brother Shane, or as they call him, Junior. He is actually in prison right now in Washington for um, being a, you know the word. The difference between him and his brother is that he actually turned himself in. He was arrested for this offense and he is subject to be released in 2027. However, he has had good behavior in prison and is requesting early release. And from what I've learned from Jupiter's sister, Junior is a thousand times worse. Now we're gonna get into all of this when I release the tell. I'm still working on it, I'm still editing it. I'm only me, no one else is helping me with this. It's gonna take me a little bit to get this done, but there's interviews with Jupiter's sister. There's gonna be an interview with one of Jupiter's old caretakers. There's gonna be an interview with the girl that pressed RAPE charges against him. Expect to learn a lot and expect to be grossed out even more. I wanted to thank you all for all the love and support you've shown me. And by producing this tell-all, I, I really do hope that the victims will soon get justice for what they've been through. And most of all, I hope his sisters get justice. Talk to you guys soon. I'm here with one of Jupiter's sisters. He would rope me. It happened often enough where I was having like bruises of different colors. 
on my body from him. Can you walk through that night that you found him strapped to a chair? On the door was a sign that said, Don't come in, we are playing naked. Even as a young child, you knew that something was probably going on in that treehouse. That's why you ran away. One time he said, my sister got stuck in the dryer. Your biological father would tie up your siblings. He's the guy that claims that you and your siblings are half black. Yes, a lot of the men in my family are predators. We planned to go out to eat for my birthday. Corbin grabbed the seatbelt and he pulled it tight, strangling me basically. And so I took off my shoe and I hit him with it. And he then turned to CR and said that he was going to strangle her next. And I told him if he so much as laid a finger on her, my high heel shoe that I had in my hand was gonna go into his skull. He started ramming my head into the door frame of his bedroom. You were trying to get him in the shower, right? And he was retaliating. He put his hands around your neck, right? Yeah. You thought that he was he was finally gonna kill you. Yeah. If this is the way I'm gonna go, this is the way I'm gonna go, and I'd be okay with that. Mom coddled him so much that he wasn't potty trained until he was 17. He had like the grown up diapers. Do you think that he ever grew out of wearing those diapers? No, he was still wearing them the last time I saw him. That is disgusting. You had just taken a shower and he would watch you after. Do you think that he was sexually attracted to you? You mentioned before that he threatened to end your life a lot. All the time, all the time. He threatened us with kitchen knives. He threatened to throw me through a window and use the broken glass to slit my throat. I have what's called CPTSD. What do you think should happen to him? They could burn him at the stake and I'd be a-okay with that. If they find it where they believe he needs to be on death row, that's where he needs to be. What led you to getting a restraining order against Corbin? If Jupiter was left in a room alone with a child, what do you think would happen. I can almost guarantee that there would be a broken bone. So if a young child was left alone in a room with Jupiter, that child would not walk out the same? Probably not if they walked out at all. Right now, the way that it's going, one day he's going to get back on TikTok. I hope he rots in prison. Just when we thought we've seen the last of Jupiter, he's decided to show his face again and remind us again that he's not going to go to jail. Why don't you take a look for yourself? (sighs) You all honestly think I'm going to go to prison. Check your facts before you do anything stupid. And back the hell up. And back the hell down. Final warning, people. Leave me alone. I don't care. I don't give a shit what you do. I ain't going to jail. I ain't going to prison. So you can all just bite me. I don't care. But a child predator is something I ain't. I'm just a man who got caught up in the wrong thing at the wrong time. Later. Anyway, yeah. Jupiter. Signing off, bitches. The fact that he can sit there and say, I'm not a child predator. Anyways, um, bye guys. Like, what? Is this like, are we like in like thespian school or something? Like, are we not taking this seriously at all? Okay, I guess maybe I should just drop it. Who knows? Whatever. (laughs) So, yeah. Hello everyone. Jupiter here. Just checking in. Showing you that I'm doing okay. That I'm living my life. I'm at a McDonald's close to my place. And everyone who thinks I'm really gone, I'm not. I told you so. I forking told you so. I'm here to tell you all that Jupiter is back. I've been sent a three minute video in which Jupiter states that he's not going to prison because the police are not after him and that he's going to practice online safety because he actually thinks that he's the one in danger 
That's just one of his many delusions. But the fact is, you're the one that's putting other people in danger, not the other way around. The fact that he's in McDonald's, which probably has a play place with kids in it, and he's allowed to be there. You know, he probably chose the table directly next to the playground. I bet he would love to eat his fries while watching kids slide down the slide. I found this out about 30 minutes ago. It's 4.08 a.m. and I couldn't go to sleep. Like I was shaking and I was just scared. Now that I made these videos about what he's done, I do feel like I've put a target on my back. I told you guys that Jupiter would be back on social media. It was just a matter of time. And while everybody else is focusing on much, much, much smaller issues like influencers being canceled, we have a real predator on our hands. If these people that were online canceling these influencers for the smallest things would direct their attention to this, maybe we can get some actual justice. I just wish that that same attention was put onto real predators like the one that we're dealing with. This same cycle is gonna keep on repeating and repeating and repeating. I'm trying my best to get this information out, yet still nothing has happened. So I urge you to take this information and know that there's one of many, many, many predators still out there. So stay safe and know that there's people out there that are not genuine. People that want to take advantage of you. People that want to hurt you. I'll keep you guys updated. Hey everyone, sorry I've been gone for so long, but yeah, I did, I do and I still, I did and I still do regret my actions. You guys need to back off. I'm doing okay, I just haven't had any time to post. Oh, and Anonymous, I dare you to try and hurt me. You know not where I live. F Knock it off! So yeah, half the stuff that I did, what drove me to do it, was nicotine and alcohol. That shit really messed me up, really messed up who I was. It messed up who, it messed up the person I was. And to tell you all the truth, I may be many things, but a child predator, I am not. I was really messed up back then. I've learned my lesson. Okay, okay. Since all of you don't believe that I'm going to be safe online, here's what I'm gonna say to you, all of you. I don't give a damn. I really don't give a damn. What you think of me or how you think of me, I really don't give a damn. This is the only chance I'm telling you to back off. And the next person who calls me a pedophile, Let's just say you'll suffer. You'll suffer my wrath. I'm not one to be played with. You honestly think that I give a damn. Jupiter is eternal. He's not gonna die. He's eternal. He has a name and a symbol. I'm guarding this world against the hate. I'm taking back what is rightfully mine. You can't silence me, no matter what you do. You can't silence me. You will never, ever silence someone like me. Because I won't break. I'm unbreakable. You honestly think I care what you think of me, hmm? You honestly think I give a shit? It's because of people like you that I've been living a life of solitary. Oh, and Linda Benda? Fuck. You. You have no proof against me. Sure, you may have seen what was on Snapchat, but that was a long time ago. I've learned since then. I'm not giving up. So fuck all of you who are trying to silence a guy like me. Make me seem like an asshole, a jerk, total pedo. That's not what I am. That isn't in my DNA. Sure, my brother might have been one, but since then I've forgiven. Everyone in this world deserves forgiveness. 
And none of you can judge me. Only God can judge me. None of you can pass judgment. None of you can say anything. Only God can be the judge of my character. When I'm called back home, first thing I'm going to do is record a video of my dying words. Smiling and laughing at all of you who hated me, who want me silenced, who want me gone. I really don't care if you think I'm a pedophile or not. I really don't care. So you honestly think you can silence me? Go ahead and try. No one has succeeded. No one's ever succeeded in keeping me quiet. Truth be told, I'm just a guy trying to make a living. I'm trying to make my life better. I'm trying to better everything around me. Make my life easier and make it easier on people to understand. Y'all don't understand a damn thing about me. You all may think you know me or know the type of person I am. Get your facts straight. I'm a good person, deep down. I'm never going to hurt anyone. I never wanted to hurt anyone. So quit judging me based on rumors and speculation, people. I don't care. You haters and hackers ever go after my family again. I will make sure to track you down, press charges for invasion of privacy, defamation of character, and a bunch of other charges. I will sue. I'm not backing down. This is only the beginning. Take this as a note. This is the only beginning you'll get. Sure, I may have made some dumb choices. But that doesn't make me any less of a man. I'm trying my hardest to be clean. I'm trying my hardest to stay out of any trouble. So all the lies you spread on the internet about me, go ahead and spread your lies. You can't silence me. I am Jupiter. I am eternal. I will never die. This is a promise. So cut the shit. Thank you all for listening and actually understanding me. I learned my lesson. So should all of you. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>